Hey, Child Pink Airlines Math Industry, and we're going to be taking a look at the area of a circle. So this is a circle, and this is a diagram of what each part of the circle is named. These definitions are going to appear in the formula. The formula of the circle is area equals pi r squared. So, area means we're measuring inside the object, and we're also measuring what's inside the shape. So, before we do any math, we're going to explain, like, with the formula, and we're also going to explain what each name of the part of the circle represents. So, let's start with the radius. The radius is going to go from the middle to the edge of the circle. So the radius is this green line. So this is an example of the radius. So that's an example of the radius. The radius goes from the middle of the circle to the edge. Like Patrick was dressed up in garbage and a dumpster, and he was like swinging the robot around, referencing the radius. You can actually make the radius go around and around and around. The next definition we're going to take a look at is the diameter. And the diameter stretches from this end of the end, this end of the circle to this end of the circle. The diameter is actually double the size of the radius. Like if the radius was like three, for example, the diameter is going to be six because the radius only reaches from the half point to over here at this point. But the diameter goes from this end to that end. So the diameter is double the size of the radius. Here's an example of the diameter. So that was the example of the diameter, because the diameter stretches from this point of the circle to that point of the circle. Patrick was using one of his dance moves, and he was swinging around and around in a circle, and his arms were making the circle, and they represented the diameter. The last definition we're going to be understanding before we do the formula and the math is called the circumference. The circumference measures the perimeter of the circle. The circumference measures what's outside the circle, and it measures, like, the length of the circle. Here's an example. So you saw how the Beyblade had red lighting all over it? It's the circumference measures outside of the circle and it measures the perimeter. So that's an example. The Beyblade had a red lighting around it to represent the circumference. And that's the part that's being hit by the other Beyblade that's bouncing off. Awesome! We know the radius the diameter, and the circumference. So now, since we know all three definitions, now we can do the math. And 
Squidward is going to give SpongeBob a math problem because he violated a law and he wanted his lawyers to explain. Technically, I drove it up the wall. One shift later. Oh, SpongeBob, I got a present for you. A present? For me? No, no, calm down. I should have given this to you a long time ago. Wow, Squidward, my very own restraining order. Uh, what is that? Perhaps my lawyers should explain. We are the law offices of Harry, Comover, and Ball. Specializing in restraining order logical law and here to tell one Mr. Squarepants, you've been served. Sir, I don't understand. Squidward, what is that? Per paragraph three of the restraining order, you may no longer speak to our client. Likewise, you may not come within 15 feet of Mr. Squidward at any time. Any infractions of these statutes will result in serious jail time. So what the lawyers explained about the restraining order is that Spongebob cannot be around Squidward within 15 feet. That is the radius because if Spongebob is right here and Squidward is right there, we're trying to determine how big Squidward's circle is. And Squidward is going to be in the middle because the area of 15 cannot be around Spongebob. So the lines I'm drawing are all the radiuses. So if Spongebob is there, here to there is 15 feet. If Spongebob is there, here to there is 15 feet. If he's here, here to there is 15 feet. So the radius is 15 feet. So what we're trying to do is what is the area of Squidward's circle? We can determine this by using the formula. Area equals pi r squared. So 15 feet is the radius. So we have to square that. 15 times 50 is 225. But we're not done yet. We also have to multiply that by pi. And we understand and let's under, let's say that pi is 3.14. So we're going to have to multiply that. So 3.14 multiplied by 2.25, you're going to be needing a calculator for this. If you multiply these two numbers, you'll get an answer of 706.5. But 706 what? That's when we have to label. So a circle is a 2D shape. So therefore, we're going to say 706.5 feet squared. Squidward circle is 706.5 feet squared. So SpongeBob cannot enter Squidward circle or he will go to jail. Let's see how SpongeBob is adapting to the new rule. You won't have to. Uh, sirs, if I can't speak to or get within 15 feet of Squidward, how will we get anything done around here? That's not our problem! Good luck SpongeBob didn't break that new law that was reinforced. Thank you for watching Taoping Airlines Math Industry. Like and subscribe.